Strategies for Anthropocene Epoch Abundance. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 519. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our March 5th, 2023 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is strategies for Anthropocene Epoch Abundance. I would talk a lot more about the Anthropocene Epoch uh, if I didn't think it would become totally redundant and uh, overkill. But I did want to do two videos about it. So this is the second one. And um, for those who don't know, we are now in the Anthropocene Epoch. And this is interesting because the Anthropocene Epoch is the first epoch that is human driven. And scientists have identified this because they've looked at what identifies an epoch, which is a noticeable shift in the planet that could be measured millions of years later and identified as, as a shift and a global shift. And this global shift is driven by humans and they know that and they are identified it as the Anthropocene Epoch because of things like plutonium. You know, we dropped the bomb and now plutonium is all over the world and it would it never existed uh, before we did that. You know, it was not measurable. Same thing with aluminum, same thing with plastic, same thing with um, fossil fuel residues. And so we've created all these different things. And so today I don't want to talk about those negative things. I want to talk about what is this epoch going to be really defined as? You know, like if you go millions of years in the future and you look back, is this the epoch where humanity basically created large scale destruction on the planet and you can measure it by things like plastic and fossil fuel residues and plutonium and things of that nature? Or will this be the epoch where humanity stepped up, realized that we can be stewards of our planet, we can create the world that we want and decided to do that, decided to steward our planet and take ownership and conscientious and conscious management of this planet to create a better world for everyone. A world that works for everyone and for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. And one community thinks that that is how this epoch is going to be defined. We think that um, we have to because we're currently living unsustainably and we think that now is the time. And so we are facilitating that process with open source tools, tutorials, resources and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And we've broken those down into two foundations, the physical foundations of sustainability and the emotional foundations of sustainability. And when we put all these together, they are strategies for Anthropocene Epoch Abundance. They're strategies for abundance in general and for creating a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. And we're doing this because we want to live this way and we do this because we can't think of any more noble venture, adventure, to put our time and energy into as, as, as creating a world that works for everybody and, and designing plans capable of doing that within our lifetime. And how is that possible? Well, a self-replicating model is the way that we're doing that. And we make it self-replicating by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrated as attractive enough. And the strategies for Anthropocene Epoch Abundance cover all aspects of a sustainable civilization. And that is how I personally would like to see the Anthropocene Epoch defined as when humanity stepped up and realized it's time to create a sustainable civilization, it's time to steward this planet, it's time to be the foundations for creating more biodiversity instead of less biodiversity, for, for restoring ecosystems instead of destroying ecosystems, for creating sustainable systems instead of creating unsustainable systems, and one community is facilitating that whole process 
for creating systems for all of the aspects of sustainability that we need to. And so that includes food, energy, housing, what we call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, education, economics, and true earth stewardship. And putting all of these things together in one place that we call one community as a prototype eco village, building to an eco city, designed so that's all open source and free shared so that every aspect of it can be replicated as either individual components, right? Food, energy, housing, fulfilled living, all these components, or as the complete model as a teacher demonstration, community, village, city, and hub designed to teach people how to create their own teacher demonstration, eco villages and hubs to teach even more people to create eco villages, sustainable eco villages, hubs, and demonstrating radical sustainability and what that looks like and how it's possible to create massive abundance from that and a lifestyle, a way of living that most we, people will consider to be far superior to the way that they're living right now. And so, and demonstrating what we're capable of through cooperation and collaboration instead of competition. And so our strategies, our foundational strategy for Anthropocene Epoch Abundance is to demonstrate that through cooperation and collaboration, we can create better lives for ourselves, our friends, our families, everybody who wants to participate. And then the smaller components of that are the radical sustainability approaches to the food, the energy, the housing, the education, uh, the fulfilled living, sorry, the education, economics, the stewardship, all these different things so that we have something, so we can provide something for everybody. And demonstrating how putting all that together and creating complete collaborative, cooperative environments and sharing uh, the responsibilities of maintaining those environments can create more free time for people and more things to do with that free time than even large metropolitan areas and all within walking distance and in the case of one community surrounded by nature, immersed in nature and creating world change as a foundation of what it is that we're doing, which contribution is one of the primary six human needs. You know, six foundational human needs. We have a page on our website that talks about this. There's certainty and comfort, variety, significance, love, connection, growth, and contribution. And each one of these is important. They've shown that in meeting these needs, these are the foundations of human happiness. And so uh, a big foundation of one community is contribution to creating a better world for everybody. You know, but there's also the love and connection, which is the community aspect. There's the growth, which is the fulfilled living aspect and the highest good education model. You know, there's the variety, which is everything that we're creating. So, I mean, in short, the more fun that we're having, the more amazing the environment is that we're creating, the more abundant and the more successful it will be in spreading and self-propagating. And that is what we're trying to do. We're making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating a lifestyle like this as attractive enough to spread its own. And the easy enough and affordable enough aspects are open sourced and open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're doing to reduce the cost and to make it easier to replicate anywhere in the world. And then building a global cooperation and global collaboration to do that. So this is our idea for strategies for, for Anthropocene Epoch Abundance. Um, we're a 100% volunteer organization, including myself. We are a nonprofit organization. We're a non-governmental organization. And we're creating one community because we know that we can create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. We think that now is the time. For the first time in human history, we have the ability to co collaborate globally as a species, bring people from all over the world. And we have volunteers on every continent except for Antarctica contributing to our project and uh, demonstrating that, demonstrating what's possible. Over 700 volunteers have come together to create one community and we're ramping up even more with the goal to have 200 active volunteers by the end of this year so that we can demonstrate getting to a thousand volunteers uh, contributing to this project as quickly as possible, checking off the action items necessary to start construction, to build one community as a place that people can visit, experience and demonstrate what's truly possible. And so this is what One Community is up to. If you like what we're doing, like and subscribe. If you'd like a weekly dose of positivity like this in your inbox, uh, visit our website 
and visit the uh, subscribe page on our website and you'll get an email from us every week sharing this weekly progress a blog so I can see all the open source content everything we've created you know tens of thousands of hours of information of uh, content creation uh, visit our website and of course if you'd like to help out our alg algorithm just watch to the end or if you're just interested in major bullet points on like the big bullet points of all the different things that we're creating stick around for a couple more minutes so this is what we are up to and uh yeah until next week we will of course keep on keep it on thanks for following our progress The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.